Hey guys, my name is Tim, and I'm an aerospace engineer. Hey Tim, could you, uh, could you tell us a little bit more about your life and not your job? Oh right, you want to hear about how I've been abducted by aliens. This all began when I was a teenager. That was the first time I was abducted. And it's probably happened about 20 times since then. I never expected this, but now it's a big part of my life. I've really come to embrace my interactions with aliens. And you could even say that we're friends. There have been sightings in the desert recently, and I plan to go out there and make contact. I haven't been abducted in quite a while. When the aliens don't visit me, I miss it. It truly is an otherworldly experience. Oh, it's very exciting. Do I know what they want with humans in the earth? Not really. As from my experience, they're fascinated by the human body. They've explored all my ins and outs. Well, this is where the magic happens. Only kidding, but the, yeah, this is my bedroom. I love to make model planes. I've been making them since I was a kid. My interactions with aliens has just heightened my interest in spacecraft. So I dedicated my studies to that as well and became an aerospace engineer. I like my job, but of course the ultimate goal is to work at NASA. I do want to make the rockets that will get us to other universes. To Pluto and beyond! Side note, I always still consider Pluto to be a planet. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, I'm a brown belt in judo. I've only been doing it for a few years, but it just feels great. I really enjoy the physicality and spirituality of martial arts. Fingers crossed I get my black belt this year. You know what, let's get the meeting started, guys. You guys need to wait here. This is a private meeting, okay? We talk about secret stuff, like new sightings and theories. What? I shouldn't be telling you this. Oh. Oh. seen a UFO or two, but his insights are fascinating because none of us have been abducted. He's actually just a really nice guy too, so it's hard to be jealous of him for that because he actually just last month helped me move. At this point, we all just call him the professor because he knows so much more about the aliens than the rest of us, but hard to keep that against the guy, right? Hold that against him. Oh, Tim, we were just talking about you, man. Uh, I was hoping Hi. we could maybe, I don't know, uh, run into each other again outside the meetings. Yeah, absolutely, Matthew. Are you going to come out to the desert this weekend? Uh, fortunately, I can't this weekend because my wife's having yet another birthday, so. Well, it happens once a year, right? Pretty consistently, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, you know, that stinks, but hey, next time. Oh, yeah, next time, for sure. Okay, all right. Bye, Matthew. Yeah, bye. Oh, next time, for sure. Next time, you, got, you guys got that, right? Next time, for sure. We're going to hang out, no big deal. So we good? Awesome, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. I always make eggs for myself after I see my alien girlfriend, Cinderavis 9. I haven't seen her in a while, but I still like eggs. Now, she or it, I'm not sure how gender works with these aliens. Cinderavis 9 communicates that it is accessing my pleasure centers, which also gives Cinderavis pleasure too. One minute, she has her, sorry, it has her long fingers on my temples in pure ecstasy. And the next, she, him, or it, is gone. The gender thing is still confusing for me. Now, I know I sound like a wackadoo, but it's true. 
I'm just trying to make the most of it. I post on social media a lot, and I'm getting a lot of support from people out there. There are people out in the world that believe me. Order up. It, look, Tim. Tim's a smart guy. He's always yeah. been there for me whenever I needed it. He um. He wasn't. A, he wasn't really an athlete like me, but no. he understood the world. <laughs> knew how to be. Uh, always knew how to be a nice person. Yeah. The problem is, he just has this grand delusion that he was abducted by aliens. We want him to see someone, yeah. a psychiatrist, but um, he just refuses. <laughs> and look, we love him, and we just want him to get better. He has so much to offer, he and he's just given it all to this obsession with aliens. It's not healthy. No, it's not. And the first time he was abducted was shortly after our mother got in a car accident. Uh, Maybe it was a coping mechanism, but regardless, it's just gone on for way too long and it just consumes his entire life. Yeah, and the thing is, our mom only broke her leg in that <laughs> yeah. accident. I mean, other than that, she it was, was fine. fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it was a couple days after that that yes. Tim first yes. mentioned an abduction. And, and it's really frustrating because we, we try to talk to Tim about it, but mm -hmm. he just won't hear it. If he could just... Get a girlfriend? <laughs> Tim with a girlfriend. I don't know, maybe, maybe like more hobbies. There you go. I mean, I mean, he has his judo, but it's like literally the only productive thing hey, he Steve. does. Hey, Tim. Tim. The door was open, so I just, uh, what's, you wanna, uh, what's they, going they on here? They got in touch with us, and um, they just wanted to find out more about you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, hey, good, good to see you too, Caroline. Good to see you, Tim. We don't see you often enough, buddy. No. Yeah, we should hang out more, for sure. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, uh, you yeah. Wanna, um... yeah do you want to sit down? Yeah, come on in. Come yeah, on. Take okay, a seat. Okay, sure. Here you go. Thanks. <sighs> um, you want to... You know what? Uh, I guess I'll... Okay, I'm going to go. Okay. Um, Tim, uh, we feel that you might have a problem, and we want to help you. Um, this uh, obsession with aliens, it, it has to stop. I knew this it's, is a trap. I don't want to talk know. about Tim, this. Tim, the abductions, not they're not real. I mean, you can live a completely nice, normal life, but you refuse, and they're it's very ridiculous. Real. No, they're no, not. They started okay. after mom's accident. No, your okay. mind just went to a weird she place to cope. Yes, she only broke her leg. Her collarbone, too. She's the only one who's ever believed me. You okay. both say she you want to help, but you we don't do. listen to me. We want to Tim, help Tim, you. mom didn't believe you. She only did it to make you feel better. Steve? She pit she pitied them. She pitied you. You take that back. No, Steve. Tim, because aliens are not fucking real. Steve, okay. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to hear from you two Listen, again. Don't leave. Okay? Don't come back here. Just because my life is a little different Tim, doesn't make it any less real. Tim! If I could have you both abducted to prove what? it, no. I would. I would love doing? to be abducted. Oh, stop. I'd love Listen, to. we love you and we can help you. I know some amazing therapists. Goodbye, Caroline. Goodbye, Steve. Tim, Tim please Tim, don't I'm go. Tim, I'm serious. Please stay. Tim. Okay. We tried. <laughs> what are you doing? Leave me alone. Get out of here. Hey guys, it's me, Tim. Gosh, I'm just not sure anymore. The documentary crew has been making a movie about me, but I realize they're just exploiting me. Nobody believes me, not even those closest to me. Maybe I need to seek psychiatric help. Maybe my mind is truly broken. Ugh, this is such a nightmare. I, I don't know what to believe in. Oh, you know what? This is how the documentary can end now. Hi, my name is Tim, and I'm insane. Goodbye. I'm sorry I lashed out at you guys. That wasn't fair of me. I'm just feeling a little lost right now. 
Can we continue the documentary? Yeah, sure, Tim. Whatever you're okay. ready. Okay. Okay. Is that? Am I good? Interview nine, take one, stop six. Well, I haven't even told my siblings about my alien significant other, Nervous Nine. They always say I need a girlfriend, someone to love me. And I do have that, just not in a traditional way. You know what? I have been abducted. And it will happen again, too. This is my truth. This is my reality. And I'm going to prove it. But first, uh, I'm going to take a shower. It's been a few days. I'm doing it. I'm going out to the desert to make contact. This is who I am. I'm Alien Guy Tim. I've seen aliens with my own eyes, and they've seen me too with their oversized eyes. There have been at least three sightings within the last week, within a 15-mile radius. That's very rare, and a sign that I must go. You're welcome to come. I enjoy going to the movies and practicing my judo. But there's this other part of my life that people just can't comprehend, so they call it being crazy. Interacting with aliens has given me a greater purpose in life, and one day I hope I can share my knowledge with the world. I want you to wait here. If you were to get abducted, that'd be more than you bargained for. Location is just up that hill. I don't want you to feel like you're in any danger. I have a good feeling about this. The first time I was abducted, I was terrified. It felt like I was dissociating from my body. When I got home, my mother always comforted me and told me she knew I was telling the truth. But now she's gone and nobody believes me. And it really hurts. Nobody understands what it's like for me. But maybe this documentary can help. says in the X-Files, the truth is out there. 